Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2013 Audi Q5. This one is a 3.0T Premium Plus model, Quattro all-wheel drive, of course. Outside you can see this one is finished off in a Mythos black exterior. Outside you do have your set and silver trim around the windows, tinted rear privacy glass. Up top, your radio antenna, sunroof, as well as your roof rails. As you can see, this one does have power folding mirrors, and they are body colored with your LED turn signal indicators built in. This one also does have the S-Line package right there. You can see body colored door handles, intelligent entry built in. And around the rear, your Q5 as well as 3.0T Quattro badges, dual exhaust down below. And this one is equipped with a power trunk. Press and hold to release. And it will open just like that. And you can close it from right here. Coming up to the passenger side, fuel cap is right here, typical Audi style, just make sure the vehicle is unlocked and it will open. Down below, this one is riding on a very nice set of Michelin tires. They are 235, 55, R19s, so you do have 19 inch alloy wheels. These are the S-Line wheels as well, rear disc brakes. You can see the tires are in fantastic shape. I mean, inside and out, this is such a clean Q5, and this is such a nice one too with the three liter engine. Up front, projector, HID headlights, you have your LED daytime running lights and fog lights. Go ahead and get in. It does include your typical Audi he fob with lock. Trunk release, as I showed, unlock and panic, but it does have intelligent entry, so just have the key fob with you. Come up, grab the door handle to unlock, and then touch right there to lock. Inside, this one does have the black leather interior. As I said, S-Line package. And this interior is in fantastic shape. And very nicely loaded. Full power driver's seat, all of your controls for that there. So as your uh, factory floor mats. Now to start, you can insert the key right here. Or, foot on the brake and just press right here. Close the door, and just have the key in the vehicle and you're good to go. Inside, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel, your uh, audio system controls, navigation controls on this side of the wheel, and then these controls go to your center display. You can uh, bring up all kinds of different things through there. Your media, trip computer, Bluetooth phone, things like that. I believe even your turn-by-turn -turn directions for the navigation will show up there. Paddle shifters on the back of the wheel for the speed automatic this one is equipped with drive, sport mode, you can go back and forth, as well as manual mode. Reverse, as I said, this one does have a rear backup camera, and your electronic parking brake right there. Gauges in the middle, you can see your engine temperature, tachometer, the center display, which this one does have 87,000 miles on it, but you'd never be able to tell. I mean, it really is so clean and very obviously well maintained inside and out. I mean, I didn't even notice the amount of miles this one had when I first got in it speedometer and then your fuel gauge down there. On the door itself, all padded soft touch material up top. Um, your wood grain trim, metal trim around there, metal door handles, power locks, power mirrors, and all four of your automatic power windows down here. The power mirrors are heated as well and you can fold them in just like that. Nice and simple. Storage down below, your power trunk release, power seat memory up here as well. Over here, your headlight controls, front fog lights, and then your rear fog light, as well as your gauge dimmer right there. This one also does have my favorite option you can get on Audi products. This one does have the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which sounds amazing, and you get these beautiful speaker grills all throughout the interior. Cruise control back here. The dash itself is all soft touch, high quality material. It fits together and looks great. Like I said, this one is really in phenomenal shape. More of the metal trim around your vents. In the middle, this is Audi's MMI system, very simple to use, all controlled by down here, and then each of these will correspond to a different corner of the screen. Let's say we'll bring up your navigation. As you can see right there, you have the different options, which will correspond with these. Go to radio, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, and it sounds great.
I mean, this system really packs a punch. But all of your controls around here, you can go to your car, change different settings, different drive modes, driver assist, things like that. Right here, auto start stop on and off, your parking sensors on and off, traction control, and then your hill descent control. Behind this cover, you have your SD card slots and then SIM card slot. And up here is your CD changer. Dual zone automatic climate control below there. And this is the typical Audi system where you press this button to control the fan speed. It will also show up on this display. And then you can press here to control the temperature. Once again, that will all show up on the display up there, but it's very simple to use. Heated seats for the driver and passenger. And that's another thing is everything inside of this car is your typical really satisfying um, Audi, just that clicky control. Everything is so high quality. Storage up front, ashtray and a cigarette lighter. Um, some card slots over here, different little storage places. Two cup holders back here, padded armrest in the middle. And in typical Audi fashion, it is adjustable. So you can raise it just like that. Storage inside, um, storage in front of it as well. The seats are very, very comfortable. High quality leather, they're typical Audi and they fit so well. You have your thigh extension up front, as well as more of the wood grain and your Quattro badge on the dash. Auto dimming review mirror up top, your garage home link, all of your interior lighting controls right there, then a sunglasses container. And right here, you can press that and it will open the shade all the way for your panoramic roof, which this one obviously is equipped with. And that lets in a beautiful amount of natural light, but it's also a very nice tinted piece of glass. We'll go ahead and step out, unlock all the doors, driver's side window down, pop the hood. Inside of the rear seat of this vehicle, everything follows from the door, padded material, padded leather down here, door handles and your power locks. The seats will fold, just pull right there, it gives you a flat loading floor. Stepping in, I'm 6'2", and I can comfortably sit behind my seating position in this car. There's plenty of space, even for a smaller crossover. Very nice, comfortable seating back here, the same leather. Up here, armrest with two cup holders. And you have back seat pockets on each side, your air vents in the middle, as well as a power outlet. And then different bar, um, different accessories and attachments can go up here. And you also have your interior lighting controls on each side, handles. Inside of the trunk, just go ahead and release it right here. And coming back up front, when the vehicle is running, you do have to release the trunk from inside. Just press right there. And just like that, it will open up. Inside, plenty of space as you'd expect. And you can see just how clean everything is back here. You have storage. There's more storage on this side. This right here, pull it. And it will fold your seat down. That one didn't go all the way down because the headrest is extended at the moment. But with the seats dropped down, you get a fantastic amount of space. Different tie downs, things like that, which are nice because they actually are metal on each side. And below there, it's your spare tire, the subwoofer for your audio system, and more storage. Go ahead and drop that down. Very nice and simple. Like I said, this just won't drop all the way forward because the headrest is up. But everything follows through on this side. Up front, you can see the S-line door sills follow through, full power passenger seat. And you do have a hook over here, you can hang different things off of it, as well as a storage net up front. And inside of the glove box, this one does include all of your original owner's literature, state inspection certificate, everything of that nature. Also do have your iPod adapter inside of here, which this one looks to have been updated with the uh, Apple lightning connector as well. And up front, 
projector, HID headlights, your LED running lights and fog lights. And under the hood, this one does have Audi's 3 liter supercharged V6. This was the optional engine on the Q5. And this engine really does pack a punch. It is so much fun to drive over the standard model with the four cylinder. This is the Audi S4 engine, as well as it's available on a lot of other Audi products. But in this small little crossover, probably, in my opinion, at least the most fun to drive car with this engine. Go ahead and close that. automatic driver's side window back up, cut it off right here, move the key, headlights back into auto mode, and as always this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.